Hello everybody. Today I'm going to rate uh, Vanderpump Rules. Okay, I heard about the Scandival and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and watch all the seasons and then decide on it from there. Okay, I started with season one and went all the way to season 10. It took me like two weeks to watch it. So now I'm all caught up and I'm waiting for season 11. I really liked it. Um, I thought that maybe some of the people were bad on the show. <laughs> I don't understand why all these people like to cheat on each other but it seems like it happened like all throughout the whole 10 seasons everybody cheated on everybody else and it was just a lot of drama but I do like to watch drama <laughs> I don't know why but I do so I just thought because everybody's talking about the Scandival and what Tom Sandoval did to Ariana. So I thought that I would watch it all to see how I liked it and what everybody was so obsessed about. And I can see why everybody is so obsessed because it... <laughs> It's hilarious at times, and I just thought that it was, in a way, dumb, but hilarious, and I don't know why everybody wants to work at Sir. I don't know why everybody would want to work at Tom Tom, and... <laughs> I certainly would not want to work at Schwartz and Sandy's after all of this. <laughs> That's too much drama going in and out of <laughs> those workplaces. I mean, maybe go eat dinner there, but I certainly would not want to work there. Too much drama. But overall, I really liked it. Um, I liked watching Lisa Vanderpump try to navigate all these people's lives. I don't know how she does it, but she does. Um, <laughs> it, it'd be too much on a boss to navigate everybody's lives like she does. But... I don't know. I mean, she's got umpteen million restaurants. <laughs> so I don't know what she does. I mean, I don't know if she uh, goes directly, uh, like through Sir and Tom Tom, or what she does with um, everybody you know, but she does have an interesting life. <laughs> if she has to navigate everybody's drama because that's basically what it is. <laughs> but I did like her house. It's called Villa Rosa. I do like that. Although I cannot handle pets there's no way I could live there because I have a phobia of pet hair. <laughs> I mean, overall, um, you know, I like what she does, rescues dogs and stuff, but I just have a phobia of pet hair, so there's no way I could do that. <laughs> I mean, as clean as her house looks, I would probably still be afraid to walk in there because these dogs would, you know, get hair all over me. 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I just think it's funny. Um, I, ca I came to like Tom Schwartz. I mean, he, he is a very big softy. He has a big heart. And he is better looking than his <laughs> brother's. He's got triplet brothers. He is way better looking than those three. Um, <laughs> although at least Vanderpump calls him Schwartzy. I don't know why, but it is a cute nickname for him. And um, I do not like Tom Sandoval. I just think he comes off very... Uh, preppy like his shit doesn't stink and that's I don't know I mean I don't know if it's a fully scripted show or if it's unscripted or half scripted I don't know but his storyline it makes him look like an asshole I mean you know, apparently this isn't the first time he's cheated, but he had a full-fledged affair with Raquel. And I don't understand that because as much as there's millions of people obsessed with them, <laughs> wouldn't you think people would see him having an affair, you know? All these paparazzis follow them. Fans follow them everywhere. Someone had to see something. <laughs> That's all I know. That's all I know. <laughs> I just thought it was ridiculous. A full-fledged affair. But you know what? I don't know why, Raquel. I mean... She I mean, you know, she comes off as, you know, like she doesn't know what she's doing. You know, I mean, I, I don't know if it's like she's acting dumb, but it just seems like she acts dumb all the time. And I, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't like that. And who else? Ariana, she's okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why she didn't see Tom Sandoval having an affair either. But, oh, I guess that's okay. Um, I don't really have too much else to say about it except for... It was so much drama, and I was hooked on it. I mean, I was watching seasons one through ten on a daily basis, <laughs> all day long. <laughs> it, it took me two weeks to get through all ten of them. So I am waiting for season 11 to come out, as I understand they are filming it right now. So it'll take a while for it to come out. But that'll be the post scandal. So I guess we'll all find out what everybody's doing. I mean, I have watched other um, YouTube videos of um, everybody being interviewed about it. So I do have somewhat of what uh, everybody on the show is thinking. And then I saw the interview that Tom Sandoval did with Howie Mandel and his daughter. Now that kind of got me thinking that, you know, when, when they're filming, 
not all of it gets in there. And when they're not filming, then they do crazy crap like that. <laughs> like, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. We don't. But it was all interesting. Just way too much drama. I do not see how Lisa Vanderpump handles it. <laughs> I would go nuts. I would sell all my restaurants off. <laughs> I, I would literally go nuts if I had to put up with all of that. Well, that's all I have to say about Vanderpump Rules. I will catch you all later. Bye.